Why would you go on a campsite, guys? Why would you use a campsite? Got woodlands here, picnic area there, pond. <laughs> Save me. And this is another reason why I love France so much. Because I have these little picnic areas and places um, dotted around everywhere. And I saw this one on on the little air app that we use, uh, air infos. There's a little parking spot, picnic site. Um, around the corner, just around the corner here, probably 200 meters up the road, there's another spot. And that one's on park for night. So, um, it is a it is a known area but we've come down to this parking spot i've reversed the van down this road because um i didn't realize i could have probably got a turn on it to get him get him back there but i just reversed him down here so we've got the lake to ourselves <laughs> life's not too shabby apart from the angle grinding disc in the nose ordeal that's pretty shabby Oh dear, I had all the safety protection on as well that you would for grinding, safety goggles, ear defenders and sods law, it's shattered, it's gone everywhere to be fair, it's gone all the way around my head, but uh, bounced off me, my hat, but obviously my nose took, took the brunt of one of the pieces, <laughs> yeah, not very nice, I'm sure as the uh, scab calms down, uh, the actual cut itself will calm down and it won't look so bad but I'll always be uh, Scarface now there you go that does not look like a too shabby spot at all so for dinner tonight it's going to be quite simple I think we've got pork belly strips um, and we'll marinate them in a nice sweet sticky chilli sauce and um, Think noodles something really simple and we're catching the ferry from Khan to Portsmouth and um, for us it's the best way to get into France the whole Calais business malarkey it gets me down it's more expensive coming to Khan it's an overnight ferry it takes about six to seven hours to get across however we always get the night ferry so either way whether coming from the UK to France or France to the UK we get the overnight ferry Ferries are ferries. If you don't need no aftershave or um, you know a cheap fish and chip meal, you might as well just go straight to bed. So that's what we do. We jump onto the ferry, might get a quick cup of tea or something, go straight into the room, into the cabin, uh, watch a film over. I say watch a film overnight. We don't. We watch the beginning of the film, then we both fall asleep. And you get up the next morning, you're all refreshed. So if you're coming to Europe, you're all refreshed as you land in uh, France, and you've taken out that big lick of the A16 from Calais down to Rouen. It's uh oh yeah it's the worst bit of my my time in France that that um that road there as you come come down leave Calais all the way down to Rouen or if you leave Calais and go to Paris whichever way you take but uh yeah I'm loving this loving this spot just up in that tree there big bird of prey Doing. I'm making a cup of tea. Good. A coffee for you. Thank you. There's even a little picnic bench at the end there. Thank you. So we've absolutely taken over this area. We're going to call this Lac de Freddy. Lac de Freddy. There you go. Our original. You had me at a low. Because where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the road I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday I'm 
so that's uh, dinner taken care of, all squared away. Uh, there's a little bit of noise here tonight. That's because over in the back, there's a farmer digging up his, uh, or ploughing his land. Bloody farmers, <laughs> how inconsiderate. <laughs> oh, the struggles we have, eh? Oh, what a place, what a setup. So you've got a nice forest area here. You go for a bin bin there. We've been for a little bit of a walk around here. And then uh, up the other end there is a lovely little bench you can sit up, sit at and uh, overlooks the lake. It's just a, it's just one of those wonderful locations. And you get these all over France. And there's bins here. I have no idea who comes down here and clears the bins up, takes the rubbish away. It's probably the, the locals. But um, yeah, picnic areas everywhere in France. Yeah, Britain, I would argue, arguably, I'd say every picnic area has been turned into a pay and display car park, which is a, which is a real shame. I know I keep going on about it, but today we've spent we've brought all our shopping from the local areas that we visited, so we we enough pay our pay our way in uh, contributions to the economy. I think not one bit of litter here at all, and it's used. I can tell it's used because picnic area and mount. You can see how often this has been used, this, this road down here. Not one bit of litter, no tissue, no nothing. Total respect. And when we leave, we'll leave no trace. If there's any fishermen here that bring their uh, fishing gear with them when they come to France, then there's nothing about no fishing here in this lake. And there's some big boys in here. We've seen a couple come up, breach the surface, and they are big. We've thrown some bread and some noodles into the corner here and uh, some little fish have come up but out there there's some big boys oh yeah what a, what a fantastic spot love it what are you doing? I'm reading in your little vest my little vest I'm reading what are you reading? I am reading Picture Perfect Practice. Ah, what's that about then? It's all about taking photographs of people and the best ways of practicing and learning to take better pictures. You don't need to take better pictures. He's brilliant at taking pictures. She does need to set the Ludo up though in a bit. Oh! <laughs> hmm. so people have asked us a few times <laughs> <laughs> they laugh at Ludo and why we play Ludo. And if you go back years ago with Hugo, we even said it then. It's because it's just a very, very simple, non-thinking, well, not completely non-thinking. There is a little bit of strategy to it, as me and Claire both know. When I used to play Claire, before she thought of the strategy side of things, then I used to whip her ass all the time, especially if I was red and blue because nobody wants to be green and yellow. And evidently tonight I'm gonna to be blue and green. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used to whoop her bum every time. But now she's uh, she's learned, she's learned the strategy and there is strategy in it. It's uh, It can be good fun and also very frustrating, especially if you don't throw sixes while your partner keeps you throwing them. Do with a new one. <laughs> well, it still does its job. It does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, play Ludo. second while well, I pick my cup of coffee up. And so we're um, a couple of, couple of hours away from Khan. So this morning I think I've got to sit down and do a little bit of editing before we hit the road and then uh, yeah we'll head towards Khan and then all stream for the crossing back to the UK to Portsmouth. Uh, as you can imagine guys, by looking at its location, it was just peaceful and perfect. No disturbances, no noise, uh, just absolutely beautiful, just absolutely great. So, 
There you go. Morning from France. There's one thing that I've been doing ever since uh, we've started this channel, and that's uh, what I like to call pillar talk. So we're going to go back in the van and surprise Claire because she's still in bed. She loves it. She loves me disturbing her when she's in bed, and she also loves me disturbing her when she's putting her makeup on. Morning. No, <laughs> I was enjoying my morning cup of tea. Oh. I just told everyone. I'm lazy. No, I didn't tell everyone you're lazy. <laughs> I'm glad you know you are. <laughs> oh. I just told everyone that we've been doing this for years. And I always come in and I, there's times that I like to surprise you. <laughs> yes, I'm surprised. <laughs> you naughty. What do you think of this location? I think it's a nice, quiet location. What did you but... dream of last night? Yeah, well, we were a bit close to the lake and I dreamt a huge catfish jumped out and tried to swallow it did swallow Tony whole so I spent the night trying to get Tony out of a catfish <laughs> nice view though there you go guys bit of pillar talk <laughs> <laughs> six years that six years what yeah, six years that there you go so I was going to do some editing today. I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> but that is not a bad start to the morning. We can always make it through. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. Samir. What does Samir mean? On the sea. Mm -hmm. Ding! Or by the sea. On the sea? On the what? On the sea. Like, I don't know. Where's on sea? Clacton or somewhere. <laughs> We're not at Clacton on the sea. I'm trying to think of a place on sea. Anywhere on sea, but Clacton on sea. <laughs> Nothing against Clacton on sea, it's a lovely place for a, a day out. <laughs> not too far from um, Ulstream where we picked the ferry up to take us back to Pompey to Portsmouth but um, we decided to come to this little place just up the road from it and there's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> well you tell a lie. Go on then. There's a crepery. It's not open. There's a Japanese restaurant. It's not open. There's a casino. That's open. <laughs> And another bar. Uh huh. Maybe it's time for a pint. But Claire's desperate for a. A cup of tea. <laughs> a good old fashioned British brew. We found the tea in Clacton. Earl Grey, to be precise. So that was a uh, pretty nice little cup of tea. Claire's looking at. Uh, Chops again. Yeah, 
So we're going to make a runner. Come on, let's run. That's a nice little area. A couple of little restaurants and cafes down there. But uh, now we're going to make our way back towards the van and move on. Looks like all the shops are shut. Please click the buy me a coffee link in our video description or in our social media bios. And we'll see you on the road soon.